take two. I couldn't sleep last night, and I've got a terrible cold, so about one o'clock in the morning, I got up and started populating this White Star Power Driver board, originally out of a, a redemption game like Titanic or something like that. And when Stern was building those games, they um, implemented some cost-cutting measures, I'll say, and uh, didn't populate the whole board. The board is identical. This is a Rev G board, I believe. Yeah, but um, some of the parts simply weren't stuffed, like the three fuse clips and fuses on the right in the general illumination section, three fuses and the power were not stuffed, one, two, three, nor were there fuse clips. And these eight drive circuits, there were tip 122s versus FATs, which is required, which are required for pinball games. So eight FATs there, replaced tip 20, 122s, eight new FATs over here, the resistor values at this location changed because, you know, these were tip 122s and now they are FET. So those are 22K resistors. There's even an LED missing at this location. So I populated it. So it's different brand LED. So the brightness is slightly different. Uh, it was missing an HCT 273 here. So I put a socket in there and installed the chip. Missing this big cap, this 0.1 microfarad 500 volt cap, 4.7K. It's a 2 watt originally. I put a 5 watt in there. Works just perfectly fine, of course. Bridge rectifier was missing here, so I populated that. And I think that covers it. So that takes about an hour and a half of just picking parts, placing parts, soldering parts. And then, of course, I washed it off when I was done. It looks really nice on the back of the board. I was able to scab onto pin three of the DS-1232 and set the board to reset at 4.5 volts versus floating, which would be kind of indeterminate. We don't want that. So it's all good to go now. Let's do some testing. Oh, I do have an in lamp test right now. So you can see all those lamps are working. These VN02Ns are really hard to find. If you find some, they're probably counterfeit. I have some in my inventory I bought from Ed at Great Plains Electronics ages ago. And uh, I've had to use maybe two or three of those in all the time that um, I've had those in inventory. But I got them, and it's all about being prepared. At least that's what I think. Let's do uh, some flash lamp testing. I have Harley Davidson ROMs driving this right now. I've made a new uh, test device to replace this janky old homemade one, which you know, it was cool at the time, but now that I know how to build small um, PCBs, thanks to my friend Victor, I've been making those things. And improving the look of my test equipment. Plus, it's fun to learn something new. That's part of the reason that I do this uh, almost every day, is just to learn something new. I can do a WPC power driver boards in a, you know, blindfolded almost. Uh, Gottlieb system, 80 MPUs, same thing. So I like to come across something new and different. I'm really enjoying working on some SAM boards uh, here and there. Mostly the the audio, uh, the DAC on that board, the PCM 1755 DBQ, does not always work properly on that board. You can see Solenoid 2 did not work. So let me uh, go through this one more time. I wish I could speed this part up. Maybe I'll experiment with that in post-processing. I did figure out how to put picture in picture on my videos the other day, so that was another thing uh, new to learn. Do I make any money off of YouTube? Not a cent. No, I started that channel just to show people that their boards were working. Okay, so Solenoid 2 and Solenoid 32 are not working. Let me go back. Come on, Chris. Learn to operate these buttons again. Solenoid 2 is the auto launch launch. 
Let's fire that. Not working, so we're gonna have to figure that one out. And let's go back to 32. What am I thinking? 32. Well, I'm doing some math wrong in my head here or something. 16, 16, 32. It should be 32. Oh, duh. Which will be this one. No joy. So, here's one of the cool things about White Stars. Um, you can draw the circuit, and this is going to tell me that it drives a number 89 flash lamp and the uh, orange wire J6P10 provides the power to the flash lamp and the black gray wire at J6P8 which is driven by Q32 is where it finds the path to ground now Q32 is this one it's not one that I replaced that is a tip 122 so I'll get my meter out and diode test that. So two and 32. Lamp flash. All, that's all there is to test on a driver board. The knocker, of course, as crappy as that sounds, comes from the sound, CPU slash sound board. Uh, <laughs> patch collected. Your speedometer is lit. And do all those sounds. Let's go get to the bottom of solenoid 2 and 32. And I am back on the bench with this White Star Power Driver board that I was repopulating or adding population to. I've replaced this, the TIP-122 that was here with the TIP-102. The TIP-122 that I took out of here tested fine when I diode tested it, but clearly it wasn't working before. Now, that, it's a good time to mention, perhaps, that... If you diode test a part like this and it tests bad, then it is bad. If you diode test it and it tests good, then it might be good. And I find a lot of these transistors, these eight on a White Star board, they can test good and they are failed. And it applies to every other board with TIP 102s also. Again, if it tests bad, you know it's bad. If it tests good, you don't really know that it's good. So I've got Solenoid 32 set up here to run now, and we will run it. And there you see it operating. Now let me go back over to the other one that I had in question. That was the auto launch solenoid 2, and the FET tested good. Where is that baby? Right here, I think. And uh, the problem with that was that FET was the only one on this board that was bad before. It was Q2, this one. Um, and I had replaced it, and I'd run jumper wires, and the jumper wire I was trying to get just too neat with, and I failed to make contact on one end of the jumper wire. So clearly that one wasn't going to run. But it's working now, so overall this board is good to go, and I thank you so much for giving me something to do in the middle of the night. While I was populating this board, I found a good use for your Amazon Echo device. As parts are required, I just called out, add 16 FETs to my White Star list, and you can see the spelling wasn't quite right, but it made it easy for me to keep track of all the parts that I added to this board.